All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Dirty Dog Jazz Cafe. If we could have your attention at the stage area for a brief moment, please. How's everybody doing th this evening? Doing all right? Excellent. We'd like to welcome you here to the Dirty Dog. Normally at this time, we'd be sharing birthdays or anniversaries with the room, but we haven't gotten a single one. Is anybody celebrating a birthday at all tonight? This man here? He's shaking his head. No, no, I'm not. No, it's not. It, no. All right, we won't... Uh, we won't put you on the spot, sir. Any other birthdays in the house? All right. Any anniversaries? All right. Let's get to the music. But before we do that, would like to ask the room if you wouldn't mind keeping the volume of your conversation just down to a minimum while the band is performing out of respect for the musicians and the other guests that are here to hear the music. We've been priding ourselves in the music for 15 years, and we really, really, really would like to keep that going strong. We're also live streaming this show, so if you like what you hear, you can always watch it again. Just search Dirty Dog Jazz Cafe on our YouTube channel. So, please put your hands together, show the band some love as I announce them one at a time. Tonight on the drums in the back, we have Dr. Professor Leonard King. <laughs> on the upright bass, we have Takashi Io. <laughs> on the piano and the piano camera, Phil Kelly. To my immediate right on the trumpet and also co-leading this group, Jimmy Smith. <laughs> to his immediate right, also co-leading the group on a plethora of saxophones, James Hughes. Please welcome to the stage the Hughes Smith Quintet.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together one more time for Phil Kelly on the piano. <laughs> Takashi Io on the bass. That's a doctor, professor, Leonard King on the drums. James Hughes on saxophones. Yours truly, I'm Jimmy Smith. That first composition was written by Detroit saxophonist Kenny Garrett entitled Sing a Song of Song. This next one is a James Hughes composition entitled Kazoo Blues. Thank you. 
All right, thank you so much for that. This next one is one of my compositions. I, uh, I wrote this after my father passed in 2016. Uh, my father and I, we did not have much of a relationship. What we did have was usually less than cordial. So it was a very difficult time um, thinking about the past. And uh, the song came in my head. I dedicate this to my dad. It's called Wanting More.
Thank you very much. Wanting more. Uh, the next composition is uh, my comes from my pen. This is called Waltz for Anna. It's going to feature uh, Phil Kelly on the piano.
Thank you, Waltz, for Anna. Next up is a song I wrote for uh, two friends of mine, Nate Wynn and Takashi Io, make up the battery of this uh, quintet usually. And um, the interplay that they have is, is great, and I wanted to exploit that. So I wrote this tune for them, because uh, our drummer, now we have a special guest with us tonight. Nate w isn't with us, but we do have Dr. Professor Leonard King. Put your hands together our esteemed elder statesman, and uh, we thank him for being with us this evening. Uh, but this tune I did write for, uh, specifically for Nate because my man likes to eat candy before he records. So you know like the theater-sized box of dots? That's what Nate would eat before we would record anything. So it's pretty astounding to see like uh, an adult eat a full pound of candy in like 15 minutes. Um, so I call this one Dots, and it will feature Leonard King and Takashi Io.
Give it up one more time for Dr. Professor Leonard King on the drums. <laughs> Takashi Io on the bass. All right, this, this next one is one of my compositions. I wrote this um, back in 2005. I moved to New York City to do graduate work. And I moved into a neighborhood in Brooklyn called Bushwick, which is now gentrified, but not then. It was real Bushwick back then. And the first night I was going to sleep, there was just all this energy outside of my apartment, all these car horns honking. And it just uh, it had a certain vibe. And I wanted to write something to capture that vibe. And this is what came out. This is Bushwick. Thank you. 
Right, Bushwick. Uh, next up is a composition of mine. This one I wrote um, for my three nieces. Maybe they had they were twins. They were three, and their sister was two. So they were they they're wonderful kids, but they were a handful. That's a, that's a lot of uh, yeah. That's a lot of toddlers at at once. Um, anyways, I asked them what their favorite animals were, and they said. Uh, one right, they had their answer ready to go, one after the other. They're zebras, penguins, bunny rabbits. So I wrote this song for them called Zebras, Penguins, and Bunny Rabbits.
All right, thank you so much. Um, we got time for one more, but before that, I'd like to do a little housekeeping. We would like to thank the folks at the Dirty Dog for having us the last couple nights. <laughs> Give it up for Carl at the bar. And while you're giving it up, give up some tips to this awesome staff. <laughs> Put your hands together for Phil Kelly at the piano. Takashi Io at the bass. Very lucky to have had him with us the last couple nights. Dr. Professor Leonard King on the drums. James Hughes on the saxophones. I'm Jimmy Smith. We are the Hughes Smith Quintet. We we do have CDs for sale. Um, could could you raise your hand if you still own a CD player? <laughs> All right, coming in strong at the bar. We got them. I know you want them. This last one is a kind of a departure from what we've been doing tonight. We've been doing mostly our compositions and there was a time we were uh, we had a steady gig at a club and the the owner of the club was kind of a funk music aficionado and he asked us to record something funky so James brought this tune to us it's uh, originally by the fabulous counts this is called Jan Jan and this will feature Dr. Professor Leonard King
Thank you so much, folks. One more time, Phil Kelly, Takashi Io, Dr. Professor Leonard King, James Hughes, yours truly, Jimmy Smith. Oh, all right, all right. All right. All right. So this next one is one of my compositions. We have uh, sold this one on iTunes as a single more than any of our other tunes, which has allowed us, James and I, to go out for pizza once a year. <laughs> this one is one I wrote for a friend of mine. He's from East Detroit. And you know, a cat from East Detroit has a certain kind of vibe, right? This particular guy, he is, he is into art. He's into music, and he's into WWE wrestling. This is East Detroit. We thank you for spending your evening with us. Till next time.
Thank you so much. Drive safe.